Yo, what's up guys, it's Yeti here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we will be going over how to be as optimal as possible in week one of season one of The War Within with your gearing process to make sure you don't shoot yourself in the foot, you're not missing out on loot, you know, you're not delaying your items, etc. So I made like a document, I wanna go over it. I took like a lot of different sources from online and I'll just try to be as, you know, um, condensed as possible and to give you as much useful information in this video as I you know possibly can. So just to give you an idea, we are actually going to start by reviewing this little item table. So uh, tomorrow on season one, uh, week one of The War Within, we are getting the following content. We're getting Mythic Zero, which is this right here. We're getting Delves, Normal Raid, and Heroic Raid. And just to review them real fast. So Mythic Zero Dungeons, are actually going to be dropping 593 item level, which is veteran gear, and it'll be giving you 603, which is champion in vault. Mythic Zero differs this time uh, compared to the uh, other times in the past, is that we actually get the season one dungeons in the rotation. So you're not getting all the, the War Within dungeons like we had, you know, on Heroic. We're actually getting four of them and we're getting four dungeons from uh, older expansions into the rotation. So just to give you an idea of what kind of items you can snipe, because, uh, you know, as I said, the item level is actually quite low for Mythic Zero. And I don't know if it's gonna be very useful to run them. What will be useful to run though is Delves. We can actually do Delves all the way to level eight. So Delves are right here. So Delves level eight, nine, 10, and 11 are actually gonna be giving you 603 item level on the drop, which is considered champion gear already. Uh, it will also be giving you 616 hero in vault. So we really need to make sure to complete eight vaults, sorry, eight Delves this week to fill up our vault. Then we're also gonna have, you know, obviously normal and heroic raids um these two are going to be dropping very very good gear but you can only do raids once a week right and you will probably doing that with either your pug or your guild and i want to make sure to optimize your gear as much as possible before you step foot into the raid and just a little disclaimer before we get into the rest of the video i think biz gear is complete bait well okay not complete bait but item level is king almost you know all the time uh, that's the way the game has been tuned recently. So if you have an item that has intellect on it and it is higher item level, it will almost always be better. If you want to be sure, if you want to be 100% sure, you can always sim. You can use raidbots.com and you can always sim your gear in you know scenario like that to compare items. But if you are a somewhat new player, item level is almost always king. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I want to talk about how to get to Delves level eight, because you know I showed you the graph, level eight drops by far the best gear. So um, you have multiple Delves in every single zone in the War Within. Uh, you can see them on minimap. They have you know these kind of markers, like right here you have the Earth Crawl Mines, and right here you have the Fungal Folly, which is uh, a bountiful Delve. Right, so um, you are not gonna wanna touch Bountiful Delves up until you have unlocked level eight at all. Because Bountiful Delves are, think of them as a buff that lasts for one day uh, and it can also be consumed. So uh, I put together uh, just like two Delves uh, that are really, really easy to level up. They are called Waterworks uh, and uh, the Rita Abyss. I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, Waterworks is right here. It's currently bountiful, so I'm gonna bet that it's not gonna be bountiful tomorrow. You can use this one to level up. It's very, very fast. This is the one that I actually ran during my level up journey, and it was the easiest one ever. Uh, and there is also this one in Ashkahet that is also very, very good to uh, run. Um, and these two are gonna, you know, you will get to level eight, eight really, really fast. Just to keep in mind, level eight delves can be a little bit challenging. I haven't done them myself because I didn't play the beta, uh, but I saw some people run them and they said that you actually have to use interrupts and CC and things like that. So after you're gonna be complete, you're gonna complete a bountiful delve. Let me actually fly down here to this one. All right, so we are in front of, of a bountiful delve. You can see right here, that's the buff, right? And it also, you know, says right here on the spot, which is the... Uh, item level and the track of the item you're going to be getting. So um, when you complete a Bountiful Delve, there will be a chest inside and you can use a restored coffer key to open up this chest. You need to really make sure to not perma die on your delves because I believe roughly five deaths can actually disable you from 
opening this chest at the end. And you can only complete this delve, the Bountiful delve, once a day with this buff that it's Bountiful. And after this, it's gonna be just a normal delve. So you really need to make sure to level up you know, on the non-Bountiful delves, preferably the, the two that I mentioned, the really, really easy ones outside, you know, like before you enter the Bountiful Delve, and then you wanna you know, hop into a Bountiful Delve and complete this one with as little error as possible, and then open the, you know, with the key in the end. If you fail, it's, it's okay. You can obviously just try again tomorrow because there are going to be four Delves that are Bountiful every single day in the War Within. So, you know, right now there's one over here as well. Uh, there's probably one in ahead, but I am, you know, legally blind. Oh, there's one right here. Uh, we saw the waterworks already as well. So you just need to make sure to complete Bountiful Delves on level 8 and then unlock them that way. If you fail, it's okay. You can always try tomorrow. Your final goal is going to be to do 8 Delves, which is going to fill up your weekly vault and, you know, complete as many Delves as you can and use your coffer keys on the Bountiful Delves that are open, you know, at level 8 once the season starts. So in order to loot the chest, we already mentioned restored coffer keys and you know, what are they? So restored coffer keys are something you get from weekly activities. Let me show you an example. I have screenshots right here. So uh, this is, for example, a weekly activity you get in Hollowfall, complete special assignment, links rescue. So, you know, you have these in every, you know, I think in every single zone. Uh, and you have to do a world quest and then you can open up the chest and inside this chest, you know, the first four weekly caches you earn each week contain a restored coffer key. So you can get four coffer keys already in this week just from special assignments in the world. You can also get restored coffer keys via world quests uh, and not just any world quest. Well, you can also get it from any world quest, but also PvP world quests. So if you do not have... Like right now, for example, I have 10 restored coffer keys. You can actually get coffer keys in, in many different ways. Like, for example, right now, you know, I even have a normal PvE quest here that gives you 25 coffer key shards. And, uh, you know, you combine these into one more additional key. So you can for sure get, you know, five, maybe even six keys a week. So do not worry about that at all. Also, keep in mind, after you will be completing your first bountiful delve, you will get a quest. And this is a quest you have to do as soon as you finish the first Bountiful Delve on your character. It's gonna be called a Radiant Echo, and it's gonna give you a small little quest line, which um, is gonna start an event of some sort where you're killing mobs, and this these can give you even more shards for another key. So just to keep in mind, as soon as you do a Bountiful Delve, do this quest, you get more shards, and I believe you keep getting these after each Bountiful Delve, or maybe you get like again fragments of these, but you need to make sure to you need to make sure to complete this quest as soon as you do, and complete your first Bountiful Delve to not you know throw away any potential uh, chance to get more keys afterwards. The last thing I want to talk about is crafting. Uh, I would highly recommend everybody to delay crafting. Uh, do not send all your sparks instantly because you don't, do not know what is going to be bis and what is going to be tuned because as of right now, they are constantly tuning stuff. We're, we already got tuning for the normal and heroic raids and we're also going to get the tuning after the heroic raid. Uh, this always happens in World of Warcraft. So, you know, how are you going to check what's actually your best craft? You can either join the Discord. Um, you know, may just have a Discord called Alter Time uh right here you can you can find these on uh you know you, you, by googling or alternatively you can also just check warcraft logs so the way i you know do it here i'm obviously in a midrasil because there's currently no logs for the new uh raid that came out uh in the war within so you're gonna open up you're gonna go into um actually let me just show you guys how i did it all together so i'm not confusing you too much so i went into dragonflight i went into farak and i went into rankings after that, I made sure to go into uh, Mage Arcane because that's, you know, what we'll be playing right now. And then you can see right here the embellishments that, you know, people are running. And you can see that 51%, so over half of the top, I believe it's 100 parsers, were actually running blue silken lining, you know, which is was the mastery increasing embellishment. And you can do the exact same thing with the War Within. Again, I would probably wait for at least a, a few days before crafting, but, you know, if you're all about parsing, you can also, you know, send crafts early on.
Of course, after you've done all of these steps, you can, you know, go and uh, do Mythic Plus or sorry, Mythic Zero for, uh, you know, sniping specific items, um, trinkets, etc. And, you know, you also can go and raid with either Pugs or your guild, which is going to give you the best gear and also gives you a chance at obtaining Tier Set. Tier Set is going to be massive for some people. Uh, and also you have the Catalyst, which turns items into Tier Set. Uh, it's located, I think, right here on the map. But I highly advise you to not catalyze just anything at start. Uh, at least Hero or Mythic Track would be recommended from my end. And yeah, of course, when this week ends, the best gearing from now on is actually going to be, uh, to nobody's surprise, uh, Mythic Plus, right? Mythic Plus is going to be crazy. Uh, and Mythic Raid, these are going to be the ways that, uh, you know, you're going to just gear yourself all the way to the max uh you know so sevens to tens are going to be dropping heroic gear uh and tens are going to be giving you mythic track in vault so you know delves are going to become kind of relevant but not really 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 good for gearing alts uh but you know the story of this season is the same as any other season after week one so uh there's nothing like really special going on after this so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something new i hope you guys will be optimized and get some good loot uh, and good luck in delvin i'll see you guys around peace peace